A judge has just handed down his decision in the trial of a key figure in what became known as the Freedom Convoy protest that overwhelmed Ottawa in 2022. You'll remember the name Pat King. He was charged with mischief, intimidation and counseling others to commit crimes. Well, CBC's Mark Harkasol is here with more details on the decision. What did the judge say? Well, just within the last 15 minutes or so, Natasha, Justice Charles Hacklin laid out that he had found Pat King guilty of five out of the nine charges he's facing. So we're getting this information from our reporter, David Frazier, who's in the courthouse in Ottawa right now. Here's what he's telling us on the charge of obstructing police and counseling people to do that. Guilty. Guilty of disobeying a court order. Guilty of counseling uh, to commit mischief. Guilty of mischief itself. Uh, again, five out of nine charges. Basically, it was found that Pat, Gil um, Pat King was found guilty of all mischief charges against him, but not of the intimidation charges mm -hmm. against him. What remains to be seen now is a verdict, certainly. Uh, if he had been found guilty of every single charge against him, it would have carried a maximum of 10 years in prison. So we don't know uh, what will become of Pat King after this. That's probably something for uh, a future hearing. Um, but over the course of the day, uh, Justice Hacklin laid out piece by piece all the evidence that court had heard over the three weeks of King's time uh, in court uh, and how he felt about each one. He went through social media videos that showed, in his opinion, that King was leading the convoy. Boy, uh, was giving direction because that was part of the charges here. Uh, the, the Crown was trying to prove that Pat King was an actual organizer, a leader of the convoy effort, whereas King and his uh, lawyer were trying to tell the court that essentially he was just a promoter. Uh, he wasn't actually involved in any sort of leadership capacity. He was just a promoter and a supporter with a lot of uh, social media followers. The judge obviously uh, didn't believe that. We heard uh, the judge retrace over testimony from various witnesses who lived in Ottawa at the time, who talked about the difficulties uh, faced by residents of Ottawa of all different stripes. Uh, the defense talked about uh, several police officers who testified, uh, and, and the general manager of emergency and protective services who noted that while the convoy protest was loud, it smelled like diesel fumes in downtown Ottawa, they didn't note any threatening behavior. That was all brought up again by the judge today. Uh, probably goes into that intimidation factor and why Pat King was ultimately found not not guilty of intimidation. So still to come, uh, we need to know uh, certainly what the sentence will be for Mr. Mm -hmm. King uh, and even other uh, so-called uh uh, convoy protest organizers, Tamara Leach and Chris Barber. Their trials have completed, but we still need to figure out what happens there. Also, you will remember that uh, the federal government invoked the Emergencies Act during all of this uh, and was later found to have violated the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms in doing so by a federal court. The federal government has since appealed that. We're still waiting for that appeal process to go through as well. So uh, the days and dealings with the Ottawa convoy are certainly not over. Okay.